Okay, so we've got our pieces for our bell bottoms, so the front and the back legs, and those are cut on opposite, so we'll have both of our front legs, both of our back legs, and then we've got our bodice pieces. So this is gonna be our front and back bodice. We've got our main pieces and our lining pieces. I did them different colors, you can do them the same, um, but just to make it easier to see in the video, those will be different colors. And then we've got our bell bottom pieces. So let's get started with our bodice. Okay, so starting with our bodice pieces, we've got our main and our lining. Our main pieces are right sides together, lining pieces right sides together, and we are going to sew at the shoulder seams on our main and the shoulder seams on our lining. And that will be our first step and we'll come back. Okay, now we are going to take our main and open it up, lay it flat. And these are gonna go right sides together. So then we'll open up our lining, line it up at your shoulder seams. And you'll wanna pin it so it will stay in place, line it up at the shoulder seams and then lay it out flat the rest of the way around. And then we are going to um, sew all around this neckline and then we will come back again. Okay, we are at the machine. I did wanna show you guys how I am going to sew this um, neckline. So I'm starting at one of the shoulder seams. It doesn't really matter which. I've got them pinned together. Uh, it doesn't really matter where you start, but we'll start just a little while down. I'm gonna put that under my machine and I'm going to just start surging and I'm just gonna surge all around that side. You just wanna make sure none of this fabric is getting stuck underneath and being surged through with the neckline. There you've got your neckline and we'll go see what that looks like now and lay it out okay so now after we've sewn the neckline this is what we are left with so we've got your lining and your mane and what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the lining to the inside where it will be you're gonna push that inside and you'll be left with your mane on the outside your lining on the inside now we are going to use the burrito method to close off our armholes. So what we're going to do is we are going to start rolling this. So you've got your main and your lining together. We're going to roll it, roll it, roll it until we get to here where you've got your other arm. So we want to um, put this kind of on top of your main. You're going to take the main and then flip it over so you've got that arm, you've got your main and your lining. Line up this seam right here at the shoulder. And we are going to line up your armhole. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna sew all the way down and all the way down to here. Make sure you keep this pinned in place so that you've got your shoulder seam where it's supposed to be. So we're gonna sew this whole curve and that will enclose our arm. It's gonna leave this part tucked in. So I'm gonna go sew this and then we'll come back and I'll show you how we do the other arm. here you do want to make sure you're not catching this um, inside part that's rolled up in your skin. okay so we've sewn our curve and that has enclosed the one arm so now all we're gonna do is pull everything else out from the middle so now you're gonna be able to see that this arm is enclosed 
and has a nice finished seam so it'll be nice and ready to wear. So now we just need to do the same thing to the other arm. Sorry, we'll get that all laid out right. Okay, so all we're gonna do is the same thing. We're gonna roll, 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 roll till this is on the main. We're gonna flip so the lining is there, put this in the middle. We are going to attach shoulder seam to shoulder seam and line it all up. And you're gonna sew down this curve again. And then I'll come back and show you the finished bodice part. Okay, so now we've got the other arm finished off. So we'll go ahead and just pull that out the same way we did the other one. And now you're gonna be able to see that you have got your main and your lining. So you've got your main front, main back, and then you've got your lining pieces and all of the arms and the neck are nice and closed off with a nice um, finished seam. And that is the burrito method. To finish off the bodice, what we're going to do is take our main and lining, fold it this way. So you're going to attach main to main, lining to lining, right sides together and sew down this seam. Do the same for the other side and then our bodice will be completely finished. All right, so that is our finished bodice, and then we will start on our legs. So we're doing the bell bottom version. Um, this is the front of the bells. This is the back of the bells. So to start, all we're gonna do is, these are the front legs opposites, right sides together. We're gonna sew this crotch curve, and we're gonna sew the back crotch curve. And then we will bring them back and put them together. Okay, so we've got those sewn together. So now all we're going to do is open up. This is the back of our bells. And this is the front. We're going to lay them on top of each other so they can line up. And what we're gonna do next is we are going to sew straight down the leg, straight down the other leg. And then you're going to line up your crotch curve and you are going to sew from one leg to this crotch seam all the way down the other leg. Make sure your crotch seams are gonna match up right there. Okay, so we've got our um, bell bottom legs done. So now what we're gonna do is flip this out. And we're gonna go ahead and get our bells ready to attach. Mine are directional, so I just wanna, when I'm putting them on, I just wanna make sure that when you see the front of the bell, it's going to lay the right direction. So mine's gonna lay that way. So the pattern will be going the right way. So I am just going to find the center. And I'm gonna go ahead and place a pin. Find the opposite side and place another pin. And then we are just going to surge all around this circle and same for the other leg. Okay, so now we've got our bells and then lastly, all we need to do is attach the bodice to the bell. So what we're gonna do is put these back inside out. And then we're going to take our bodice and we want to line that up at the armpit seam to the side seam. So it's going to go um, right side out. So we're going to be right sides together. We're going to open up our pants, line up those seams. And go ahead and pin or clip that. And go ahead and do the same for your other side. I like to quarter mine, so I kind of shake it out. I'm going to find the middle and go ahead and pin that as well. And then usually what I will do is find this next middle. I'll find the middle. This is usually where I will start sewing. So let's take this to the table and then we will see our finished product. Okay, so after we've gotten the bodice shown on, we're gonna go ahead and 
flip it all right side out. And you will be left with your, um, your final romper. So there we've got the Mira Pina 4. And it's all completed. And that's what it'll look like. Thanks for watching.